Hello and welcome to Rob's Rules, where the rules are simple, they are ours. I'm here, you're there, and thanks for being there. Today we're going to go over whether or not Amber Heard can declare bankruptcy because I thought that that could be a way for her to get out of this. So this comes from a couple of lawyers. One's a bankruptcy lawyer and he's a judge. So we're going to go over that. We're going to hear what they think about Amber and bankruptcy getting out of this and not being able to pay Johnny Depp. Is that an option? Amber Heard faces financial ruin as it's revealed filing for bankruptcy will not will not exempt her from paying Johnny Depp. This comes from OK News. Los Angeles attorney Ronald Richards said the award is not dischargeable. Punitive damages are never dischargeable or deductible. Intentional torts like defamation are not dischargeable, typically. She could appeal the judgment and an attempt to either lower the amount awarded or to overturn the entire verdict, which Amber said she plans on appealing. Amber cannot easily use federal bankruptcy laws to avoid paying millions to Johnny Depp, but she might be able to use bankruptcy proceeding to slow down the payments. That's according to a law professor and an expert on this subject who said the latter is possibly is a risky one for her should she choose this path. His name is Bruce Markle, a professor of bankruptcy law and a practice at Northwestern Pritzker School, I believe, of law in Illinois. Markle is also a former bankruptcy judge. Now, this comes from Section 523A6 of the bankruptcy law. Most tort judgments based on negligence, such as a car accident, a slip and fall case, etc., are dischargeable in bankruptcy. Indeed, even medical and legal malpractice cases are dischargeable. But what separates Amber Heard's case from regular tort cases is the finding of intent. Bankruptcy law does not permit most intentional torts, battery, assault, etc. to be discharged. Defamation fits in due to the required findings of malice or intent to injure another. Damages for defamation, whether general or punitive, are generally held to be non-dischargeable under Section 528A-6, Standard of Willful and Malicious. The Congressional History of Willful indicates it means deliberate or intentional. Malicious means a conscious disregard of one's duties or without just court. Willful and malicious within this meaning of this section. This standard would cover even the general damages awarded to Mr. Depp. Uh, put another way, the standard for punitive damages is stricter than the standard for willful and malicious. It is quite likely that the entire judgment, not just the punitive damages portion, would be non-dischargeable. I'm skipping all the legalese to try and make it a lot easier for not just me, but for you guys too. I'm not no lawyer. I didn't say I was a bankruptcy lawyer either. So, but let's continue. Amber Heard might gain a procedural advantage in filing a Chapter 11 bankruptcy in that she could propose to pay the award over time. So if it's filed, a Chapter 11 plan to settle the claim and pay, pay it over time might be beneficial. Amber Heard would not likely benefit from filing for bankruptcy. And this is why. If a person could pay his or her debts, they should. If Ms. Heard has the financial way to pay her judgment, filing bankruptcy to stall or reduce the payments could be viewed as bad faith. Now, I have no idea about Amber Heard's present or future financial condition or Mr. Depp's desire to enforce fully the judgment, where he would offer terms that fit Ms. Heard's finances. The justification for bankruptcy is much lessened. In other words, if Amber files for bankruptcy, all she's going to do is maybe make a play- payment plan, give her an opportunity to pay this over time. It would not allow her to zero it out. So she would be fully responsible for paying the entire $8.35 million. That's right. So she can't get out of it due to bankruptcy. She can slow it down. She can appeal it. 
but she can't file a bankruptcy to weasel her way out of it, as I had originally thought that that would be the route that she would go. They're saying if she can pay it, she has to pay it. It's that simple. Johnny could try and enforce the judgment, or he could work with her and say, okay, you'll pay me in installments. X amount this year, maybe one million per year or something like that. He could do that, and I'm sure he can afford to do that if he so chooses. Maybe he doesn't choose this route. That will be entirely up to him and his team. And Amber is set to appeal this, by the way. And if that happens, it'll be happening sometime this month. But we'll find that out. So what do you think? Should Amber Heard file the bankruptcy and try to stall this and just way she can make certain payments? Should Johnny Depp just make it simple and allow her to pay in installments, which she ha didn't do with the ACLU? But pledging won't work this time. She actually has to do it. Will he enforce the judgment? Just make her suffer? What will happen? Who knows? But hit that subscribe button. Like the video. Share the video. Keep in the know of what's happening. Because this case will continue. We're not done. We're not out of the woods yet. A lot more for me to cover. A lot I fell behind with. And you're going to find that all as I continue to pump videos out on the Johnny Depp Amber Heard case. So keep it here. Keep it locked in. I love you. Thank you all. Be safe, be well, and I'll see you next time right here on Rob's Rules. As long as you hit that notification bell. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Take care.